What? What do you do? I'm in construction. Welcome. In this program, we're going to talk about the importance of adapting as Jehovah's chariot moves. But first, here are a few updates. Why? One pioneer in New York said, I attended the first in-person pioneer meeting in three years at the Queen's Assembly Hall today. I couldn't hold back tears a couple of times because our father deeply understood what we went through during the pandemic. The final part of the final part of the last days. Jehovah is good indeed. No doubt many of our pioneers around the globe feel similarly. It's also encouraging to hear that the local design construction work is moving ahead. Where there are no government restrictions, Kingdom Hall construction groups have restarted. What theocratic construction is on the horizon? We now need over 15,700 new Kingdom Halls and major renovations around the world. We need these Kingdom Halls for our in-person meetings. What secular skills will we be promoting? Skills that'll be useful to God's organization now and after Armageddon. For example, we need construction skills around the world right now. To begin addressing these needs, over 1,600 projects worldwide are planned for this year alone. We will not need doctors or lawyers after Armageddon, but we will need carpenters and plumbers and similar construction trades. And branches are also working hard to prepare facilities for in-person circuit assemblies and theocratic schools starting in January 2023. Can you make yourself available to help with theocratic construction? Ask your congregation elders for more information. It's wonderful to see young people assisting with the work. Think of the training they're receiving now that they'll be able to use during the great rebuilding work after Armageddon. What do you tell a young person who's considering pursuing higher education? To attend a university learning things that have little to do with what one can do to earn a living really has serves no purpose. What? So rather than uh, uh, devoting or allowing this world to consume four, six, eight, or ten years of studies, why not focus on two years of study to get some technical training that would facilitate or help someone to become a good regular pioneer? Ain't nobody got time for that. It requires faith to decline higher education and have the confidence that our material needs will be cared for by training in other fields of employment. 